To create an app using the AppMaker platform, all you have to do is put in your store URL and type in an app name and a basic version of the app is created. But what if you want to change the name of the app or put in an app icon? To do that and much more, you should go to update app in the AppMaker dashboard and you'll get a variety of options there. Click on update app, which you will see on the left side of your screens in the AppMaker dashboard and it will redirect you to a page like this. There are a couple of options on the left side of the screen which, which tells you that you can create changes in your app. First is general, wherein you can type in your app name and put in an app icon. On the top screen, you'll see two options, one for Android and one for iOS. These are the options to tell you what build do you need. If you need only an iOS app, untick the Android app and vice versa. But if you need both, just click on both the apps and you'll get both the apps ready. For the app name, you can either put in, if you, if you want different app names for both Android and iOS, click on this icon here and you will see two options in front of you one for Apple and the other for Android. But if you want a single name for both of them, just click on this arrow button and you'll get only one option which will be applied for both Android and iOS app. And these are options that you will get for all the titles in the entire update app list. Next, you can put in an app icon, put in, it, put in any image of a recommended size of 512 dot 512 pixels and then put in and this is how you can see it. Once done, either click on submit if that is the only change you want to make or click on next and goes to style. In style, you can create changes according to the theme of your store or in any way that you want. Put in any color for your top bar or your text, your add to cart button, or your buy now button and so on basically for the entire app you can choose any color you want put in the code and that color will reflect in your app click on next and it shows miscellaneous in miscellaneous you can put in a splash screen icon or a logo which appears right when you open the app and you can also apply a background color for it Next, you can choose whether you want to show a toolbar logo, a header, and various other options. For each option, you'll get an explanation at the bottom of it, and you can read what that option does. Click on Next, and this is what add-ons are. Add-ons enable you to enable push notifications and Firebase uh, configurations for your app. Firebase can be used to anal an analyze your app and do many other things. Also push notifications, which can be sent with just a click from your app maker dashboard. So you can enable that. There's also an option for Zopin chat, which is a live chat through app and a default OTP login, which can be a login using your mobile number. Click on next and you get a couple of options for settings. First is grocery mode where you can opt if you want to show all the product in the product list page in the grocery mode. That is whether you want to add more items of the same product from the product list itself and not go into the product page. Next, there's a product list type which can be chosen in a grid form or a list form, whatever way you want. If you want an Android bottom tab bar, which is a bottom bar where it has options for home page, your my account, wish list, and so on. If you want to disable initial caching or not. Then if you want to show a share button on top along with switcher, currency switcher, if you want to hide buy now button and so on. You can also add if you want to show your checkout 
embed you, which is there in your website already and not go for the traditional checkout pages that we have created, you can opt for that as well. So you, all you have to do is click on it and it will enable checkout web view. If you want to show star ratings in your app, you can do that. But if you do not want to show that, you can disable it. You can also enforce user login while trying to enter the app. But if you do not want to do that and you want your user to get a first hand feel of how the app looks like and feels like, you can disable this option. Then you can also show if uh, you want to show the cart or not, disable cart in web view and many more options. You can just go through the update app section and you'll get to know that there are actually a lot of options that you can implement with just a click. Lastly, there is a language section where you can add as many languages as you want. So say for example, if I add Italian, you can do that. You can add any language that you want and then you'll see an edit button with the language. When you click on it, there are a couple of words which are there in the app and they'll be translated automatically to the language that you apply. So say for example, if you want to edit the Italian language, just click on it and each word will be translated automatically according to the Google Translate. But if you feel that it is not being translated in the right manner, you can edit it however you want. And once you see that all are correctly translated, just click on done and then click on submit. When you click on submit, the new version of the updated app will be visible on your dashboard and you will have to download the new .apk file or the bundle file for your app. And if your app is already on store, you will have to release an update. And that is how your users can see all the changes that you have made in the app. So any change made in the update app section will require an update release as well. Thank you.